very the various continents of the world trying to gather information. So we 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 figured that out and we found that these people need real help in developing their organizations, their ministries, what have you. And uh, and so we began developing a curriculum around that that ended up being a four-year curriculum that that uh, and, and it also involves a mentoring component, a very strong mentoring component. And uh, the challenge, of course, was taking these complex concepts that I've been teaching for a long time and using story to communicate that. And so we use uh, a lot of biblical story, a lot of stories that come out of the life and leadership of Jesus. We also use other biblical stories, but we also write stories, fictional stories, um, that, uh, uh, that are appropriate to the cultural context where we where we serve. So if we're in India, we, we might use one kind of story. If we're in Africa among a different group, we may might use a different kind of story. So, um, and we also have used a lot of music. We had an ethnomusicologist on our staff uh, for a time who was a PhD from Ohio State that developed up, uh, this way of helping people put these leadership lessons into music. Of course, they dance and they, the drama and all that kind of thing. And so it's been a, a very powerful model through the years of uh, helping them to uh, embrace these through a developmental experience, uh, these leadership lessons. And we've seen great impact in people's lives as a result. All right, we just got done with uh, One Million Cups. At the next Wednesday. light, turn left. <laughs> You're gonna enjoy that. Um, here's the beach. You're gonna hear the damn GPS pop in a few times. Is what it is. But I'm about to turn up here. But just got done at One Million Cups. Met some great people. Um, got a couple potential leads, and always learning some new. At the light, turn left onto South Halifax Avenue. Always learning some new shit that is helping us get closer and closer to where we want to go and where we want to be in life. So. Your network is your net worth. The more people you meet, the more hands you shake. In about two miles, turn right onto Golf Boulevard. Just the better off that you're going to be long term um, when you build these real relationships. So life is definitely just a blessing. No complaints, that's for sure. That's crazy. Um, where we do dumpster, where we do junk removal, I just saw a dumpster rental, and it was in the most crazy place. I don't even know how they got it there. So that's interesting. But um, anyways. You know, we're just hustling, learning every single day. As I've said in the past videos, the main focus is, you know, the winners only discord, the junk removal business, and having the, um, oh, what's it called now? And then personal brand shit, um, slash TikTok shop. And that's just, I consider that just under social media, but you know, we are working hard. And, um, you just come to these realizations that a lot of the times you're not successful because you don't know the right people or the right amount of people don't know you or you're trying to focus on too many things and thinning yourself out and that's one thing that I definitely focus on or not focus on I deal with constantly is like sometimes I've built this made up belief in my system that if I'm not hustling 24 7 that I'm not fucking working hard when it's just not the case and um truth be told sometimes the less you do the more successful you'll actually be when it comes to focusing on what moves the needle rather than trying to do a million different things just to seem busy and that's where I've kind of fucked up and dealt with a shit dealt with a lot of shit because you know I'm just always trying to be good at the next best thing or be successful at something new instead of just sticking to what matters and focusing on what we've already started to build or are building and you know the winners only discord wouldn't be in place if I wouldn't have had the idea to film a course I wouldn't have filmed a course if I wouldn't have had the or if I wouldn't have purchased a $1,500 course and learned what exactly goes into it and also what information I didn't know to where I can help other people as we grow and would have never you know bought a course for junk removal if we never started junk removal so it's just the building blocks and the dominoes falling knocking over one thing leading to the next and you know we just have to remind ourselves that we are making positive steps forward we are going in the correct direction and we just have to keep pushing at it and we will reach the success that we want to reach so we're headed to a big boat removal 
job um, estimate rather probably going to be a couple grand it's not a small boat and we've also never removed a fucking boat before every day even you know being a year plus in business there's so many things we haven't experienced and there's so many things we will continue to experience in one mile as, turn right onto golf boulevard as we grow so as the gps just said i'm one mile away so i'm gonna hop off here i'll show you some pics of the boat when we get to there all right so this is what we're going to be removing if we get the job it's definitely massive and there is no trailer so it is on she's got a really nice dog but yeah so here's what we're removing um just gonna have to fucking start cutting it into pieces i guess we're gonna have to watch some videos because we like i said we've never Removed a boat before. Lots of areas. I'm gonna get up in there. It's mostly fiberglass. The inside's gonna be wood and shit. That's gonna be the easy part. Oh, this window doesn't fully come off, but. Dropping the car off for an oil change. Beautiful day out, a little chilly, but feels great. We just dropped off my car. Tile, tire, tiles. Kyle's got a flat tire, so we're driving around with zero air pressure in one of the tires. All good to go. <laughs> and we're gonna go right down a block and get a tire fixed. Hopefully they have the tire we need, which they should, and fucking. Get this taken care of. Now we gotta go to UPS to drop this fucking box off. Left tire. Flat as a motherfucker. Shout out Terrific Tire, always doing us right. Today, I'm not sure if I'll have time to. So many fucking people just want to say, I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. Look, we all know what happiness is. The state of being happy is what happiness is. But you cannot live in a state of happiness your entire fucking life. Regardless of how much you want to admit it, our lives are just like a stock chart. We go up and we go down. We go up and we go down. Hopefully your life is going more up than down so it does look like a positive stock chart. But regardless, you cannot be happy 100% of the time. It is physically impossible, and yes, it is impossible. The only way that you can live in a state of happiness full-time is if you're not all there mentally. So what is happiness? It's an emotional state characterized by feelings of joy, satisfaction, contentment, and fulfillment. What they don't tell you is that these are things that you can only do in the moment. If you want to live your entire life of contentment, then that means you're flatlining, which means eventually your happiness will decline and you will become depressed. As humans, we are built to want more. We are built to achieve, conquer, do great things. And that does mainly go for men because men across all history have been conquerors. They always want more. We, I, want more. And people on social media want to sit here and act like wanting more is a fucking bad thing. Like, yeah, we should just all be average, want to be comp complacent with where we're at in life, not want to achieve the goals we want to live at, and live an average fucking life. You can count me out of that shit, dog. But the whole point that I'm making this video about is for people that truly think they can live in a state of happiness their entire life. You need to be uncomfortable. You need to put yourself in uncomfortable positions. You need to put yourself in somewhat scary positions when it comes to how you feel emotionally. Because fear is all made up. It is mental. It is not a real thing. Fear has been programmed into our lives and that is why we just want to be happy rather than chasing things that could potentially cause us to fail. And what happens when we fail? We feel like a failure. We want to give up. We want to make excuses. We want to blame the world. Instead of taking accountability and realizing that is a part of life, number one. Number two, it is okay to fail because when you fail, that is when you learn. And when you learn, you get closer and closer to accomplishing those goals that you are chasing. And when you accomplish those goals, you then find yourself in states of happiness, fulfillment, literally living a life full of joy. But again, we take simple things for granted every single day, such as breathing. 
We should all be grateful and happy. If it was possible to live in a state of happiness our entire lives, then why the fuck is everyone not happy when we are literally breathing? If you're watching this, you are breathing air. That means you are one of the luckiest people in the world because people die every single second. This entire complicated, or not complicated rather, but this entire three minute long video, literally people die every three seconds. So you do the math on how many people have died in the amount of time that you have watched this video and you are still breathing, you are not one of them. So why are we not all fucking happy? We have fallen into a place of contentment where even us breathing, we are not appreciative of what we have sitting right in front of us or what we feel right now. Even the emotions of anger, sadness, depression, you should feel grateful that you're able to even feel those emotions because guess what? People that die don't feel nothing. And there's going to be tons of people in this comment section that want to sit here and make excuses. Well, guess what? Those people obviously want to be losers their whole life. Feel free to go ahead and be a loser and try to chase the state of happiness. It's not going to happen. But for those who want more, for those who want to really live a fulfilled life, not a happy life, because that is what I believe. We can all live a fulfilled life. We cannot all live a 100% state of happiness and joy sort of life. But the more you put yourself in uncomfortable positions, the more you face your fears, the closer that you get to accomplishing the goals and where you see yourself in your life, the closer you get to living a more fulfilled life and reaching your true destiny, reaching your fullest potential. And while again, you cannot live in a state of happiness forever, when you chase your full potential and you are always going after becoming the best version of yourself, not comparing yourself to others, you will more often than not feel this state of happiness, feel confidence and feel like you are living the life that you are meant to live and enjoying and living your true purpose. So I really hope this fucking hits home for some of you people because I'm telling you, stop trying to live a happy life. Realize happiness is an emotion, it is a fleeting emotion, and in order to constantly feel that emotion, you have to be chasing more and becoming the best version of yourself. The only person you should be comparing yourself to is yourself yesterday when you look in the mirror. Did you do better today than you were yesterday? And if not, it's time to get to fucking work. If so, then you're on the right path. Now, if you truly want to be a winner, I highly recommend you joining the Winners Only Discord. The link is in the bio. And what we do in that Discord is teach people, well-rounded, how to become successful in life. Currently, it is somewhat junk removal focused, but regardless, there are tons of different tabs in the Discord that literally can help you elevate and change your life, including a podcast and books tab that I post in daily. And as we grow this Discord, we are going to turn it into a massive Discord, kind of like the real world where there will be hella information across all important categories, online businesses and physical, that you can learn about, take action, and truly start living your most fulfilled life where you put in the work and become the best version of yourself, start a business, and build something for generations to come. So if that's you, highly recommend you joining the Winners Only Discord. It's in the bio. Otherwise, you're going to keep missing out on incredible information, and I want to see you win. So let's fucking win. You're putting fucking signs up during construction, sign gang. Putting out 25 today, put out another 25 on the weekend, and then a um, week from now we'll put out the other 50 once we get our extra stakes in that they forgot to send us. Kyle, where'd he go? He's over there and putting out the last motherfucking sign. Where is he? You can barely see his ass fucking around. There he's coming back. There he's coming. Good job, Kyle, motherfucker. Oh, he fucked up, I guess, on it. <laughs> that motherfucker. Alright, are we cleared to turn around? Sweet. Alright, there he is. Alright, signs are done. We just picked up the trucko. I wonder how people got out of here. I've never, never done any service here before. So, cool, cool. We out of here, heading home. And I am going to cook, or not cook, but make some guacamole. Fresh, while Kyle makes some pork chops. And I'm gonna help him cook some broccoli. And that's what we rocking with. All right, so we are gonna learn how to make fucking guacamole today. First, I gotta open this package and see how the fuck this thing works. All right, so we got these wussy ass plastic blades. I don't know what those would be for. We got the real blades, and we got two cups. 
Okay, here's the real shit. More real blades and the machine. Okay, so discovery number one on the Ninja. It literally suction cups on the bottom, bro, where you put it. Like, it's pretty cool. So I'm making guacamole, like I said, so we can be using this big boy. But this is pretty fucking cool. So you can make your little blender shakes if you want, like smoothies and shit. And then once you take that off, the lid goes on the inside. So it's like a double use cup. That's pretty smooth. Pretty smooth, Ninja. That's fire. Second discovery is these things are like vacuum sealed. So you have to fucking release it. And then the lid just pops off. And they're both like that. That's pretty sweet. Like, that's crazy. We got Kyle over here cooking up the pork chops. So I couldn't figure out how this goes on because I didn't look at a simple arrow. And it locks in. Super simple, bro. Okay. In simple settings, I thought this thing was going to be annoying and hard. So low, medium, high, and pulse on speeds. And then literally, if you're making smoothie, ice crush, extract, chop, or dough. And by dough, you can make cookie dough, I fucking guess. That's pretty sweet. So I haven't used this yet, but so far this thing's seeming pretty groovy. Pretty high tech, I'd like to say. Yeah, we're getting through it. That's pretty wicked. We fuck with that. Bro, this thing is amazing. So these aren't just settings. You set it and it literally does what it says. Like, what the fuck? This thing's really cool. So this thing is dummy proof as well. So you can't use these three unless you put the correct thing on that it's meant for. Okay, so this is a little wussy ass uh, guacamole recipe I found right here. And um, I just kind of need to know like how much per what as ratios, but mine's going to be way fucking better than this. We're going to add some garlic, um, definitely a little bit more onion, some cilantro I don't see in there. Um, this is like a wussy ass recipe. All right, so with that recipe, we're going to add one extra avocado because I'm going to do lemon, lime juice instead of lemon, a full onion, tomato, full clove of garlic, and then add some cilantro and some green onion, and then add salt and pepper after.
Alrighty, got it all in there. Lock and load. What's going on here? Oh, it's not straight. All right, let's try this again. Boom. Very fucking cool. <laughs> So the issue is, I think the avocados were too hard, so it's not really turned into mush. But it also could be what I'm using. I don't know. Either way, it tastes just as good as it should. We got the rest of it up in here. Hopefully we can get it looking a little more mushy. All right, this is as good as it's getting. Chunky monkey. It'll taste just as good. And that's how you make homemade, chunky, weird and ghetto guacamole. We just <clears throat> half of a pork chop left. Pork chop left. Ate a full one. Kyle's eating his other half. And uh, tried to cook some guac over there. Didn't turn out the best, but we learning. Sales not until six o'clock. Didn't you check your messages? No. Why? Columbia University called. Rachel was taken to the hospital. 